Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we are currently looking at our rather pathetic navy. We haven't bothered to put together a better navy and uh, we probably should but I don't think it's necessary. We're just ticking on forward here and we need to take a little ways before we're ready to declare the war to end all wars and the reason that it will end all wars is because we will control everything at the end of it. L literally, literally everything. All we have left is this little Ming area here, and we already have invasion plans for every portion of it ready to go here. We're just not quite ready to justify on them yet, because we're waiting on some of these constructions finishing up, specifically these supply hubs. I do want to hop down to the bottom here and make sure that, okay, uh, this radar station should definitely be moved up. We're, this is all filler here. We're definitely not waiting on all of this. We don't care about it. It's irrelevant. What we do care about is this stuff up here. So we want to get for sure the supply hubs done. That's the top priority. So when is that going to be? 60 days, 60 days, 60 days, 59 days, 53 days, and 53 days. Okay, in that case, we should start our justification. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and start that. And the question is... Will Ming fall this episode? Is this the final episode of Hearts of Iron here? We'll find out. In fact, you already know because you're a time traveler and you can just look at the video title, but I don't know yet. This may or may not be the final episode. We'll see how good of a fight Ming puts up. It'll be very interesting for sure. So we can give this guy a trait. And honestly... Reinforce rate, division recovery rate. I think Orgloss when moving reduction and up to attack is better. I think offensive doctrine is the way to go here. So that should be fine. And we're just ticking on away here. So that's great. Can we do any additional... Actually, yes, we can expand these oil fields. I like it. We will certainly do so. That is fantastic. So... This justification is going to be done in about 50 days, like 55 days. It needs more time. And that's all we need right now is just a little bit more time. So we're finishing up all of our constructions here, but that's very close to done. Very, very close. Cool. Cool. Let's get this wrapped up. For the record, I am planning on taking Armenia into Stellaris, just so everyone is on the same page here. There was just a large rework of the way that fleet combat works in Stellaris, so it'll be interesting to dive into that. I haven't experimented with that yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm hoping that it makes fleet doctrines a little bit more in-depth, but we'll see. We will see. So we are busily ratcheting up the world tension. Of course, there's nobody that can do anything about that because we're ready to go. The moment... I just want to check here. Yeah, we did get people brought in here because we built that naval base. That's right. The moment that war is declared, Ming has big problems. Big, big, big problems. And as Ming Siberia in particular falls, we'll be able to move more forces down to Ming proper. And things are just going to get worse. It's going to get really grim for Ming. So we should definitely give this guy like an army logistics specialist role. There we go. And then this guy we can assign a trait. I guess adaptable is the only option. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, anything else that we can do? Yes, we can assign an officer core role here. I do like army morale, but... I don't think that's necessary. We'll go with army offense. We are planning on doing rather a lot of attacking after all. So now we can give him another trait here. Logistics wizard would be awfully good here. And we will certainly take that. Beautiful. We can move these guys into our reserves. There we go. And our justification is complete. We are urging for the conquest of the Ming lands. The mighty power of Armenia isn't universally accepted. The course of history saw empires being born and fall. And today, we, 
Nubatifian, ruling ch chancellor for our fatherland, have found the main threat to our supremacy. And, and, and it's, to be honest, the only remaining threat. And it is the wicked despotate of Ming. The rulership of Nubatifian seems to point out an invasion against the Ming nation. Our glory, divine at the very least, made them envious. And they're answering with threatening border conflict. For the nationalist faction, apparently. <laughs> there, there's never been another faction, I suppose. So... This is now done, and we can declare this war. Let's double check our construction here. We're just working on some naval bases, but I think this is fine. I don't think we care. Yeah, I think it's okay. So we declare this. Like so. We're not going to declare, or not going to bring in our allies. We don't need them. So, how powerful is Ming, and how capable are they of stopping us? Well, this down here is a potential weak spot for us. Everything else is a, kind of a strong point. But it'll be interesting, for sure. Let's see how this goes. So, our initial tick here, we can see we launched a lot of attacks. Not quite as many as I would have liked. I would have liked to see attacks over here as well. In fact, there are no attacks up this way. Which I find intriguing. But maybe they just haven't heard about the war being declared. So. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, right. They had to call in Ming Siberia. That makes sense. Now we're attacking in Ming Siberia. Ming Siberia was just like, wait, you guys are at war? Can, can we join? And Ming was like, y you, d you don't, you don't want to join. And Ming Siberia was like, we kind of do. And Armenia's like, really? Okay. So we're pushing in here and there's Ming Inner Mongolia. So we're now attacking over here as well. And you can see particularly in Korea, they're collapsing. That is the primary collapse point. Although this is going surprisingly well over here. Much better than I expected. Ming decrypted our ciphers. That's probably something we should have been working on. Let's go. <laughs> cool. So, we can see here that Ming Siberia is having difficulties. We're just going to move up like so. In fact, I'm going to have these guys attack here. There we go. Cool. Ming Siberia is falling. And I want to check in over this direction. So we've not yet launched this attack. We have launched this attack. Okay. So we definitely need to build a naval base here. That is absolute top priority. And I want these guys to start fanning out a little bit. And making their way out over here. And out over here. And out over here. We want to make sure that we control this crossing. There we go. And we're invading over here. That's fine. One of our generals was wounded. Sure. And how's our invasion of Taiwan going to go? As well, I'm interested in seeing these guys push in and these guys push up. Something like that. Let's stack wipe this area and let's make sure that these guys have nowhere to go. So we're going to offensive line here. And we'll go ahead and execute that. Uh, who is this? These guys. Maybe. I don't actually know which army this is. Hilarious. This is army eight. Uh, army eight. These guys. Go. Okay. And then there's these guys here. They're going to offensive line right there. And head on in. So let's get their Korean holdings taken care of. As far as Ming Siberia goes, that is going to fall incredibly soon here. It's basically already done. So Ming Siberia is going to, to capitulate any moment now. This section over here, we have minimal forces on that. And I'm wondering, is this the same army group that's up here? Yes, it is. Okay, so Ming Siberia has capitulated. And we're going to head on in here and stack wipe these Ming troops. That will not be a problem. Uh, not these guys. You guys just halt. Okay. There we go. Cool. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're fine. 
So we're going to get that taken care of. Let's check in on Korea here. There's very little left. So we're going to do that and take over the rest of Korea here. Beautiful. Taiwan. We took their naval base, so that of course means that the rest of this is pretty much fair game. Now there is a victory point in Tainan, so we're definitely going to have to push through that. But I don't expect that to be a problem. So that'll be fine, and we have taken over this entire area. We should definitely have these guys be frontlining here. And then I'd like them to push an offensive line out this direction. Kind of like that. Cool. They can get started on that, but their supplies are low. So we definitely need to make sure that this finishes up. That'll be a little while yet. The Ming forces are definitely tied up. There's no doubt about that. And this is looking good. Now, this can be merged back in with our army group. So this order can now be deleted. As can... I didn't necessarily mean to get rid of that. As can that order. And these guys would now be assigned into the army group. There we go. And the army group order would be extended. Or I guess replaced. Sure. So we can definitely do that. And with that replaced, we're now going to be looking simply at an offensive that is very broad. Like, backing off on that a little bit, but something kind of like this. Like, that's fine. That would that thrust right there would likely cause Ming to capitulate. Okay. Let's order that. Taiwan is falling. We've got this under control. These guys over here have not managed to attack yet, and the reason for that is because Armenian Philippines is not in this war. So we'll call them in. And we'll immediately begin our attack here. In theory. Emphasis on in theory. Okay. Let's make our way up. Beautiful. This will all go to Armenian Philippines. That is fine. And how are things going up over this way? We've still not managed to push our way in here. Although they're down to one remaining troop. And there we go. So this army group here can now be reassigned... This order can be deleted, and this army group can be reassigned to be here. Then we offensive line simply like that. That'll do. Whatever. Cool. So we're pushing into Ming here. And we do need to get some supplies out over here. Ming Inner Mongolia just capitulated. So that's these guys up here. Awkwardness ensues here. Uh-huh. Just get in here and look to stack wipe these guys, I think. They're retreating? Okay. Yeah, just get in there. That'll be fine. And we'll just try to push our way through here. Uh, this is awkward up here in terms of the actual border, but it should be fine. Okay. So this over here has not fallen yet. And we do need to think about logistics. So, logistics out over here isn't that big of a concern, but we can construct so many things that we may want to just construct like that and let that be good for here. So then connecting in like that, upgrading this to level 5, and bringing this into this naval base here, like that. Wait, the naval base is here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so something kind of like this instead, and then connecting down to this naval base, like that. That would be all we would need up here. That'll get done quite quickly. Now, over on this side, we're definitely going to need supply depots, and I'm going to put it here. That was at the bottom of the priority. We definitely want that at the top and here. And then I'm going to put another one here and another one here for right now. We want to head up over this direction, like so. And then connect that in up here. Cool. I'd also like to connect something kind of like that and something kind of like this. And then over here as well. There we go. So we'll get those constructions underway and all of that should be constructing simultaneously. And indeed it is. Beautiful. Now, as far as our front down here goes, we've taken substantial territory. That's for sure. 
we're going to need to work on additional supply in this area. I think that's pretty clear. So I'm going to build a hub here, a hub here, and a hub... Mm, yeah, we'll build a hub here. Okay, and then one over this way. Over... I feel like these should be supplied. I really feel like these should be supplied over here. One over here is not a bad idea, though. One here. One here. We can put up one up here and then, like, one up here. Cool. One over this way. And then one approximately here. 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 Just to supply our front there. And then a little bit of backline work, like so. Upgrade this to level 5 and bring in our rail line, like so. We're definitely going to have to continue to work on our railway. Our logistics infrastructure is certainly not good enough to bring us directly into Ming, right? That's simply not going to be a thing. So we can get something like that set up and then bring this down over here. Kind of like this. I'm also wondering what the air war might be looking like. Is there an air war? We've not had an air war yet. And then there's Korea down over here, which we've not done. So we should definitely link up this naval base here. Uh, that's not actually in. There we go. And that can get linked up like that. Cool. And then that can just come on up over this way. Get, this gets to level 5. And we connect it in something like this. We can build the supply hub here. And honestly, that should be enough. Okay. So we just connect that in. Beautiful. Something along the lines of that should do the trick. And are we still constructing all of this simultaneously? The answer is no. Not at all. Okay. Now, we could work on things like infrastructure. I'm not concerned about that. As long as we get our supplies done, it should be good. So we're going to take on forward and work on getting our supply chains shortened. That'll be fine. And the question is, when does Ming end up capitulating? Not for a bit yet. That's for sure. Not for a bit. Now, these guys are done over here. So this entire army group is capable of moving over here and reinforcing. And that's exactly what we're, what we're going to do. We're going to just be lazy here, and we're going to front line here. And we're going to tell them that their goal is an offensive line that's very similar to the previous one, but much less carefully drawn. Perfect. And in we go. So they're going to head on over. And then these guys, they're finishing up this last Ming area here. Let's check in on the Philippines. This is actually not fallen yet, surprisingly. And we're going to set up an offensive line up here. And we can go ahead and execute that. Uh, these guys. There we go. Cool. So our supplies over here appear to be the primary issue. We can fix that with a supply hub here. And then a rail line. Coming back to, like, here. Or perhaps here, if that connects. I don't know if that connects. I don't think it does. Okay. So we'll get that underway, and that'll be fine. Taiwan has, of course, fallen. So this is all looking good. That'll all get under under construction soon enough. And in we go. Okay, so we have this under control now. I'm going to move these guys manually up here, and the rest of this army group is intended to be frontlining here. Like that. These guys are just going to walk in. There we go. And then the army group is... Uh, they apparently forgot about their offensive line. I'm just going to tell them offensive line like this. Cool. Yeah, they're not grabbing this area, but it should be fine. Okay, so we're going to look at pushing in there. Now, as far as Ming goes broadly, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like they're attempting to contest the skies at all. And we're not either, for the record. We're also not. 
But we're pushing in here nicely. I like it. We've got this pocket here. That's great to see. It's going to be a bunch of Ming troops encircled and gone. Beautiful. So we're just looking to push in here. This is not a tremendously challenging war. I was hoping that with all that time to build up that Ming would have built something up, but apparently they didn't. Sad. So we're just going to continue to press on in here, and realistically, do we think that Ming will capitulate before the end of this episode? It's going to be close, I think. We're broadly winning across these fronts. Let's go ahead and step it up to aggressively attacking in all of these situations. There we go. We've made it onto the island here. That's beautiful. Some stack wipes are occurring. And let's just drive all the way on down. Fantastic. So they've forgotten about their orders. Everybody come down here. Beautiful. They're going to have nowhere to retreat to very shortly. So that's going to be cleaned up. Let's check in on the Philippines here. This has not been cleaned up yet. I'm going to make sure that this guy is aggressively attacking. And indeed he is. He's just chilling here for right now. And that, of course, is because we have a lack of supplies. We're working on it, but that'll take some time. Ming is about half conquered at this time, I would estimate. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's about right. 47% towards capitulation. Cool. So we're just pushing in across these borders, right? And we're starting to run into some supply issues. Since Ming does not seem to have built much for supply infrastructure. Well, that explains our initial success and why this is kind of bogged down a little bit. But if neither side have, has infrastructure, then it's likely that our superior numbers will carry the day. So this seems okay. We've definitely got some unassigned divisions to move into our reserves. There we go. And we're just pressing into Ming. What are the casualties looking like? Oh, wow. Look at Ming's losses compared to ours. That's a lot. Okay, well, we're 52% towards capitulation now, and we're continuing to press in here. Now, we are split, and we're hoping that that links back up once we push beyond this little lake here. That should be fine. I say little. That is definitely not a little lake, for the record. <laughs> like, if it can be seen from this zoom level, it's not little. But we're continuing to push on in here, and Taiping is now within striking distance. So that is fantastic. We're pressuring in mostly from the from the from the west here. Although we've got a little bit of northern pressure going and almost no southern pressure. Okay. Well, we're starting to get this concave effect going which would normally be detrimental for us here because they would essentially have more space on the arc to fight than we would. But because of our numerical advantage, I think that's actually good for us. It spreads them out more. I think that's okay. Cool. We can lower the autonomy level of one of our subjects, and that is Armenian Madagascar. They are now annexed. Beautiful. Now, I definitely do want to take Taiping here. Will they capitulate if we take that? Mm, maybe. That's a hard maybe. But it looks like our advance is, is stalling out here. And the reason for that is, as usual, supplies. So we'll get some more supplies built up here. I'm not going to be super fastidious about the supply chain here because we are very close to victory and ultimately it's not going to matter too much to the actual campaign here to be super fastidious about this. So we are instead going to run a rail line just simply through all of this and it's not going to be optimal by any means. 
but it should be fine. So we're just going to get all of this constructed up as soon as we can. And once we get this done, we should get a renewed push. I'm not going to bother with any cross hatching over here. That takes more time than we're willing to put in. Okay, so we'll get that underway. Beautiful. And with that, we are going to be seeing this push be renewed once we get all of this constructed, which will take time. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to finish off Ming. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.